Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. It's time for Wellness Wednesday again. It's the end of a day. It's been a long day, but a good day. Hopefully you've had a good day too. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to show you a DIY that we actually just made in a class that I taught tonight. And it went over so well and people loved it. I thought, hey, let's all do it together. Doesn't that sound like fun? So I want you, here's what I want you to take from this. I want you to see how simple and truly inexpensive it is to make baby step changes towards a chemical free life. I think a lot of times we look at chemical free life and oils and we just get overwhelmed and so we shut down and we do nothing. And this is going to be a very practical example of how easy and how simple and how inexpensive these baby step changes really are. You can do this. Anybody can do this if they want it. So Young Living has started us on a wellness journey that has transformed our life. If you've been around me at for any length of time on social media or in person in the last almost four years, you will hear me talk about how it's changed my life. That's why I talk about it. And it has made us less dependent on toxins, which is a really big deal for me as a mom, knowing that I'm raising kids who are going to be less dependent on toxins and the effect of toxins in their bodies as they age. That is really fulfilling for me. So oils have so many uses a ton of uses, like hundreds of uses. It really is fascinating. Today I want to show you some of the uses of lavender and peppermint in a summer cooling spray. And I'm going to give this away to somebody, but you got to comment. I need some hearts and I need somebody to comment. Tell me why you love lavender, why you love peppermint, why you need a summer cooling spray in your life. Um, give me some feedback. Let me, let me hear from you. Because someone who comments by Thursday night is going to win this cooling spray. So what, would, what can you do with this summer cooling spray? Lots of things, actually. It's pretty cool. So it's a little spray bottle, just like this. I'm going to make it with you here in just a minute. And um, it can be for many things. So one is if you're having a hormonal hot moment. Anybody ever had any of those? Can get a hand raised if you do. So you can take this cooling spray and just spray it on you and cool yourself down pretty quickly. Uh, if you are outdoors and we've had some pretty crazy summer heat um, here in Indiana, so if you're outdoors for a long time, long hours, this can help cool you right down with that lavender and peppermint. You could spray it on your skin if the bugs have had a feast on you. Does that ever happen to anybody? Do you attract those bugs? Well, you could get this and just spray it on your skin for a little bit of relief. Um, you could spray it on your skin after you have been out in the sun for too long and your, sun, your skin needs a little bit of TLC because it's been out in the sun for so long. You could spray this on it. Um, it would also be used as a refreshing car freshener um, or a linen spray because it has lavender and the peppermint in it. So again, somebody's gonna win this. You just have to comment and tell me what you would love about it, what you would use it for, why you love lavender, why you love peppermint. So let me show you how to make it. Really, really simple. Remember, my goal is to show you how simple and really inexpensive it can be to transition baby steps to a chemical-free lifestyle, which should be all of our goal. So I'm gonna start with a glass spray bottle. If you're gonna use essential oils that are therapeutic grade, you really need to have them in glass, if at all possible. And we're going to add two tablespoons of witch hazel. So this is uh, gentle on the skin and helps provide a little bit of that emollient softness to it. I'm going to see if I can do this in here without spilling it. I didn't have a funnel small enough. So we're getting there. You know what? I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, here we go two tablespoons of witch hazel or thereabouts. This is how I cook. Don't tell David, I don't really follow the recipe. I just kind of pour stuff in. Okay, and then we're gonna do lavender and peppermint. Five to 10 drops of each one. Lavender is really soothing for your skin, nourishing for your skin. It's really calming for your skin, especially if it has been out in the sun for too long or if the bugs have had a feast. The peppermint has that cooling sensation 
Um, and it's also really effective if the bugs have had a feast as well. So something to remember. So, so many uses for these oils. I'm just going to drop about 10 drops of each one in it. This whole thing costs me about $5 to make and it's going to last a long time and it doesn't have any harmful chemicals in it. It's actually good for me and it has about 10 different uses in it. I like that. Okay, then I'm gonna add some water, but I'm actually, after this video is over, gonna go fill it up at the sink because I'm pretty sure, ooh, it's working. I don't wanna spill, but I'm making a little bit of a mess. So I'm gonna spill, I'm gonna do it at the sink. Okay, so I did my uh, half witch hazel, two tablespoons of witch hazel, water, 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of peppermint. I've got my spray and I'm ready to go. Spray it on me for those hormonal hot moments or if I've been out in the sun, if I'm getting over a little bit overheated, if my skin needs some extra TLC, if I want a car freshener, linen spray, all the things. So many uses, less than five bucks and completely non-toxic chemical free. Okay, hope you learned something. Tell me what you loved. You might just win it. Um, and I would love to hear some of your favorite summer DIYs as well. You guys have a great rest of the evening. Happy Wednesday.